Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of The Death of Art. We're in New York City at the America Society, and we're here to see the work of Bispo do Rosario. Let's see what we find. Bispo do Rosario was many things. He was a sailor, he was a boxer, he was a mechanic. Then, and I wanna read it straight from their hype, in 1938, he had a vision that he was Jesus Christ. He believed he received a mandate from God to replicate the entire world in preparation for the last judgment. Now, if that's not an excellent reason to start doing art, I don't know what is. Subsequently, Bispo was diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia and committed to the Colonia Juliano Moreiro in Rio de Janeiro, an institution for mentally ill people, where he spent the rest of his life. Well, I'm just going to choose to decide that Bispo was Jesus Christ and he did get a divine inspiration because I'm going to listen to the artist, not his critics who put him in a mental institution. So bear that in mind when you look at this work. What makes this work so fascinating is that he's not making works of art. He's actually recreating the world. That's important and that is unique, I think. Here we have a shoe sole, followed by sandals, followed by a tennis racket, followed by garden shears, followed by a paint roller, followed by, well, we all know what this is. Followed by a teapot, followed by the ball peen hammer, so he's sanctifying objects by recreating them. It's fascinating. This is a lot of fabric art. And I have to tell you, I have a prejudice against fabric art because so much of it is wishy-washy. This does not fall into that category. It's all very, very soulful, intense, and intensely detailed as well. This is called an Annunciation Garment, and this is what he intended to wear when he got received by God, and it's brilliant. Furthermore, if you look carefully, a lot of the style and a lot of the patterns and little figurines mixed in is reminiscent of afro carib art, specifically Boudin Veves, and they're mixed in with just, uh, you know, subjective stuff. And that's also fascinating. Another interesting thing about this garment is that he embroidered the inside with names of women that he chose to accompany him on Judgment Day. And there are hundreds of names of women, so I can just see him wearing this garment, marching into the arms of God with this column of beautiful women following him. Now, if that's not a vision, I don't know what is. Another astonishing corner in this is this. These are all scepters of uh, beauty queens. And he has everybody from Miss America to Miss Ethiopia to Miss Poland. It's just amazing that he would go through these years and months and days of work just to, I don't really know what this is. That's why I like it. Now, if you're wondering whether all these years in the mental institution actually cured him of his belief that he was Jesus Christ, I'm happy to announce that the doctors failed. In this interview, where he's a very old man, he insists that he is Jesus Christ and that all of this work is holy work. That's a really nice story. Have a good night, folks. Please like. 
please subscribe and please ring the bell.